Yeah. Jim, just thought it's probably just probably start out. What's what's it been like uh coaching this spring on a on a scooter? <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> no, it, it it hasn't been that bad. Um you know, a couple things. Uh it's just a little sometimes when you get across the whole field, it, it takes me a little bit longer and that I don't like. I like, you know, making the guys get there quicker, but uh I'm very fortunate. I have a graduate assistant who's been with me for a few years. And even if this wouldn't have happened, um Ryan's really gotten to a point in coaching. I was going to come into this spring and let him do more and run some drills and do some things. And so I think this kind of expedited that a little bit, but uh, uh, we're really trying not to make a difference here, you know, go out and practice and not change a thing. is what we're trying to do. I, I think they can still hear your voice. So that's, that, that that's probably good. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> um, a lot of these guys, that you're coaching have been with you two, three, even four years. Um, is this more of a detail spring than maybe a big picture type spring? I, I think that's a, you kind of hit it. Um, I think we're coaching less assignments right now and we're really working on our technique and then getting good with our technique and then getting, you know, confident with it and getting aggressive with it, if that makes sense. And so it's been really good. It's, it's kind of the next progression we should be taking here. Um, I'm happy where we're at. I'm happy we got some young guys that are coming and showing that they're going to help us this year, and we might be able to play some more guys. So uh, it's kind of a fun spring so far. You you haven't had to really look at your depth too much the last couple of years on the offensive line, um, but at some point it seems like you're going to have to. Um, where, where's some of the depth you're seeing? Um, you know, you, you know there's some good – you know, I got all five guys that played most of the season last year, um, did lose – you know, one guy that graduated. Um, but um, I got some young guys, Tully S.A. Fuaga, Marco Brewer, um, Tanner Miller, Corbin Sorensen, who's a veteran guy, is just keeps getting better. Um, Brock Wellsfree is another guy. You know, I, I'm looking at this more um, in spring of let's learn, let's get better, and then really fall camp, let's go compete. You know, so just because a guy started last year doesn't mean he's going to start next year. And, and, I could see us playing more than five guys, which I haven't done a lot in my career. What What is the next step for Joshua Gray? Well, I think there are some things, you know, Josh is a good, really a good athlete. Um, sometimes he gets by being such a good athlete where he could get better uh, if he defines, if he gets his technique a little bit better. Um, he gets a little overextended sometimes and he's so athletic, he can recover. Um, you know, it's taking it up a notch instead of just getting the job done uh, being consistent with it, um, and then, be, you know, hopefully becoming a dominant player. I mean, that's kind of the goals for all of our guys. All right, any further questions for Coach? Coach, with Grave, what have you seen kind of in the biggest improvement in his game um, kind of between the end of last season and now? Well, one, I think he's a lot bigger and stronger. You know, I, I'm real happy with all of our players. Uh, that was one of the kind of the things we talked about at the end of the season was, you know, we got this time in the weight room that we really got to dedicate, get bigger and stronger so we can be more physical. And I think Josh is, is one has done one of the best jobs of the group in there. Uh, I think he's working on his technique, getting better where he can be more consistent. Um, you know, every day, sometimes the, the hard thing about offensive line play is you're doing a lot of unnatural things and you have to do them so many times till you become natural. And I think he's working really hard at that right now. You mentioned earlier that this spring you guys are kind of trying to get more aggressive in, in your approach. What does that sort of look like? Um, you know, I think a lot of times you're so busy teaching scheme and assignments, and we see so much stuff from defenses nowadays that you're always trying to fix things, you know. Um, I think now we got a group of guys that kind of understand the scheme, understand the, the big picture of it. And now we can work at being more efficient in our movements, being more explosive, um, being able to finish better and do those things. So, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to relate it for the average person to see. Um, but in the, in the old line world, this is the fun part. This is where we, we, we work on being really good. So this is kind of you guys just putting the finishing touches on. on I, wouldn't, I, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I don't know if you're ever putting the finishing touches on. I think it's more, um, just getting confident in our technique, confident in what we're doing. You know, when you're confident in doing something, you're, you can be uh, more aggressive. You can attack more. You can dictate more to the defense than just react to the defense. And I think that's kind of our goal and what we're trying to do. 
Hey, Jim, one other thing I was going to ask you, are, are you going to uh, come August? Are you, are you going to be able to be upright by then? Or? Oh yeah. I'm going to be running. I'll be leading the pack. Oh, that's, I don't know if you tore your Achilles or just hurt it or. or yeah, what? I tore it, but it's, it, they do, they fixed it and it's a good job. And, and, uh, those, no, aren't, I, aren't, those aren't just, you know, four or five month processes. Those well, they, they, you know, I'm hoping that's what they're saying. So I should be fine. What they're yeah. telling me now, I'm good. I'm on track. It's looking good. So um, hopefully we'll be full go. I might not be dunking here on the basketball court, but everything else will probably be fine. Yeah, I want to see that. <laughs> it's just a two foot of dunk now. <laughs> Six foot rim. <laughs> ben, what, uh, what's an area you feel like you've excelled at this spring? Uh, something I believe that I excelled at this spring was just kind of quickening up my feet and, you know, being kind of matching my feet up with where my mind is at. Cause I feel like, you know, last fall camp, I, I was able to go through the reads. I knew where I wanted to go with the ball and stuff like that, but it was just more quickening up my feet, getting my body right with my mind. So I think that's something that I've definitely, uh, improved at a lot this spring ball. What, what's an area where you feel like you still maybe you have a little ways to go for you. You're where you want to be. Um, I, I think I can always work on my, my speed and athleticism. You know, I think that's something I'm, you know, I'm going to continue to, you know, do my, my jump rope and ladder and stuff like that. And that's something I feel like I can always improve on and, you know, something I look forward to improving with. Ben, it seemed like just from watching you that uh, you've kind of developed a nice chemistry with Zariah. Just talk about the kind of target he is out there and kind of yeah. what's been easy for you guys kind of starting to get to know each other a little bit. Yeah, I mean, we, we came up on our official together. We committed together. And I think ever since then, you know, we've always had that, you know, that, that special chemistry, you know, it's like 17 to 18. You know, I, I like to say that. And I feel like, you know, he's, he's a guy that he's got all the tools to make, you know, big plays in the Pac-12 and it's just as a quarterback, you know, it's really easy to be able to throw at a guy that, you know, can, you know, you feel confident in going up to get 50, 50 balls or, you know, being able to beat guys with speed, you know, he, he's got, he's got a lot of tools he can use. And just following up on that, talk a little bit about you, like how much further are you this spring compared to last spring when it was all new and, you know, you were, you know, getting used to everything. Yeah. I, I feel, you know, a lot more confident going out to practice and stuff like that. Just being able to go through the install again and, you know, it's, it's more kind of review to me. It's not like I'm getting thrown with all these, you know, new plays, new checks and stuff like that. So, you know, I just feel like a lot more, you know, confident, controlled out there, which is, you know, definitely a nice feeling. Uh, sort of, go, ahead, go ahead. Uh, I was going to say, how sort of hectic was it coming in here last spring when, or last year when you don't get a spring season and everything's just kind of happening on the fly and you guys don't even know if you're going to get yeah, yeah. I, it, it was, I mean, it, it was a weird time. Definitely. You know, it was first time, you know, a lot of firsts for all of us. And I think, uh, I don't know, I was just excited to get out there and, you know, we got four practices in, I was, you know, pumped to, you know, be able to continue and get, get a full spring ball in, but, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm just happy we were able to get a season in and, you know, it, under the circumstances that we were in, I, I think, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for, you know, just the ability to play seven games and, you know, have, somewhat of a season, you know, with, with the guys. I, I know you guys aren't, you're, you're all real competitive and all that, but uh, it doesn't appear like anybody's going to win the quarterback job this spring. Has it been kind of, is it, is it easier to go through this spring knowing you can, you can screw up, make mistakes, you know, and, and learn and all that rather than, you know, go out and really have to have the pressure on to try to win a job in the spring. Yeah. I think a lot, a lot of spring ball is just learning, you know, just, going out there, you know, you, everybody's going to make mistakes, just being able to, you know, not be afraid to make those mistakes, you know, playing to win rather than trying not to lose, I guess, but you know, you, you're going to make some mistakes, just learn from the film and try to apply what you learned, you know, into the, in the next practice, which, you know, it's a great opportunity to, you know, learn, grow and get better. Ben, you had some playing time at the end of last year and of course had that touchdown drive against ASU did that do anything for you confidence wise? Does it kind of give you a little bit of energy coming into camp this spring? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think, you know, I, I'm, I was, you know, really excited to get that opportunity. You know, Coach Smith let me go in. And I think it just kind of shows that, you know, it, it kind of proves that all the hard work that I've been putting in, you know, in the off season that, you know, whenever my name's called, I'm ready to go in and, you know, lead, lead a touchdown drive like that at the end of the season. And, you know, it, it provides – just a lot of great momentum just kind of heading into the off season. And yeah, it was, 
It was a fun time. Uh, Joshua, when you went over your video of, of last year and everything you were able to do, what were your impressions, you know, positively and maybe not so much? Uh, definitely just knew that there's a lot to work on this year. Uh, a lot of stuff to get better at, clean up. And um, I think that's what we've been doing all spring ball, just trying to pick up, pick, uh, sorry, fix those little things that, uh, that we uh, didn't quite get done last year. Joshua, where, where specifically do you think your game has kind of um, taken the base leap between the end of last year and now? Uh, I think I've gotten a lot better in my run game. A lot of, a um, lot more stout than I was last year. Uh, and kind of just being able to trust, you know, my technique and stuff. And uh, I feel like I've got a lot better in the run game, a lot more stout in it. Uh, I'm trusting my body and my technique more. And I think that's uh, allowed me to definitely be able to move guys a little better this spring. Kind of technique wise, can you talk about that? Like what are some specific areas that you really felt like you needed to clean up? You know, just staying, staying low, getting my body down, having my balance with me. You know, sometimes when you get too high, your feet come together, you get knocked around a little bit. So I feel like I've done better about keeping my base underneath me. How hard was it to kind of learn all that on the fly in, in, in your first season starting at left tackle? I mean, obviously a huge job. Like, what was the what was last year like kind of just getting thrown into the fire? Uh, I mean, I didn't feel like I got thrown in the fire too much. I feel like I've had a lot of time to prepare. I um, feel like I've had a lot of good older guys with me throughout my journey and stuff. So it's been, they've helped me out a lot. So I feel like I did feel prepared last year, honestly. Physically, what, uh, during the off season, what were you attempting to accomplish, you know, in the, in the weight room? Did you need to gain weight, lose weight, you know, just, just basically get stronger or, or what was the goal? Yeah, definitely needed to get bigger, stronger, played last season, a little light. So trying to, Definitely trying to get my body up to a, a good old lineman weight and then keep it there and be able to have enough weight to where by the end of the season I won't be, you know, as light as I was before. So main focus is just gaining weight, keeping it on, and getting bigger, faster, stronger like always. It's obviously pretty rare to return an entire starting offensive line. Just how good is the chemistry with you guys at this point? Uh, I mean – when we get out there, you know, and stuff starts clicking, man, it feels so good, you know, just compared to like where we were this time last year, you know, it's, it's exponentially better. It's, it's really good out there, man. Can you kind of put into words, like how that helps you on the field? Like obviously it's a benefit to, to have a connection with the guys that mm -hmm. you're working next to, but um, it, does it really help as much as I guess you would think? Oh, definitely. It's like, it's, def it just gets you in your zone, you know? You just get comfortable, you get relaxed, and then it's just from there, you're just worrying about who's, whose butt you got to go kick, you know? It seems like a pretty good-natured group of guys. Just how much fun is it working with those guys day-to-day, -day, even at practice? No, oh, it's, it's awesome. We love those guys. Man, I love spending time with all my teammates being around them, dude. It's, it's fun in, on the field and off the field, you know? 